Hello, grade 10. We have just finished discussing slope-intercept form. So remember that slope-intercept form is where you have y equals mx plus b. The m is your slope, and the b is your y-intercept. Now, slope-intercept form is really easy when you're given a graph, because you can look at the y-intercept, and you can count your rise and your run for your slope. Now we're going to look at another form, which is called point-slope form, because it needs a point and a slope. So point-slope form looks like this. You're going to have um, a slope and a point, and then you're going to have an x and a y for your variables. Please open to your booklet, and we're going to fill out the following notes. When we know the slope of a line and the coordinates of a point on the line, we use the property that the slope of a line is constant to determine an equation for the line. This is when we use the slope point form. It's when we're given both the slope and the coordinates of a point in order to determine the equation of a line. So please write this down. The equation of a line that passes through the point x1 and y1. So we say this is a point and we're labeling them with ones to show that it's a separate point. The equation becomes y subtract y1 equals m, which is your slope, times x subtract x1. So please make sure you have that written down. Again, m is your slope, and x1, y1 is the point that you're given. The x and the y, the regular x and y, are just your variables. Pause the video here if you need a minute to catch up. All right, let's take a look then at example one. It says describe the graph of the linear function with the equation y subtract 2 equals 1 third of x plus 4. So what I want you to notice here is that if I just line up the equation that I'm given with the actual um, equation in point slope form, you'll see that you have a 2 in the y1 position, a 1 third in the m position, and a negative 4 in the x1 position. Now this is something that's a little bit tricky. Okay, notice that here I have a positive 4, but the original equation, it should be minus x1. So since in the new equation I have a plus 4, that actually means that I plugged a negative 4 into x1, because then the minus and the minus 4 would change it to a positive. So you have to be careful with that x1 value. So again, what we're given here is the slope is 1 third, so the rise is 1 and the run is 3, and the point that we're given is the x1 of minus 4 and the y1 of positive 2. So we have a slope and we have a point. Now we're going to graph the equation. So I'd like you please to write down these steps for graphing an equation. Pause the video here if you need to write down these steps. The steps are number one, plot the point on the graph. So again, my point is at negative 4 and positive 2. So my point would be right there, negative 4 and positive 2. Step 2 is count the slope from that point. So I'm going to count a rise of 1 and a run of 3. So again, I go up 1 and over 3 to get my new point. And then step 3 is connect the dots. Now I'm doing this freehand with my computer, so it's not going to be very pretty. But again, you should be having a straight line through those dots that you created. So step 1, plot the point. Step to count the slope, and then connect the dots. All right, you try this next one. Describe the graph of the linear function with the equation y plus 1 equals negative half and x minus 2. So begin by stating what your slope is and what your point is. So your x1 and your y1. Then you're going to graph the equation. Pause the video here to take some time to do that. So you should have found that your slope was negative half and that your x1 was positive 2 and your y1 was negative 1. Again, be very careful with those signs. If they've changed from the original equation, then they're negative. After this, we're going to plot our points. So I'm going to plot the point 2 and negative 1. And then I'm going to count my slope, which is negative 1, so down 1 and over 2 to get my next point. And then finally, we're going to draw a nice straight line to connect the dots. 
On your handout then, we're just going to look at a couple uh, different examples. Um, and I'd like you to try this, uh, this one on your own. We have write the equation of the line with the slope of 2 that passes through the point negative 1 and 5. So what we're doing here, you guys, we have a slope and a point. So we're going to plug this in to slope point form. So we know that m is 2, so I'm going to put a 2 in the m spot. I know that my x1 is negative 1 and my y1 is 5. So I'm going to get x subtract a negative 1. But remember that when you're subtracting a negative 1, that actually turns positive. On the other side, we've got y subtract y1, which is y subtract a positive 5. So it's going to be y subtract 5 equals 2 times x plus 1. The next example, again, we're writing in the equation, but this time it gives us two points. So how do we find the slope if we're given two points? Well, remember that you know an equation that is y2 subtract y1 divided by x2 subtract x1 from our previous outcome. So here we're going to find the slope using this previous equation. So we're going to put y2 is 6, subtract y1, which is 5, divided by x2, which is negative 1, subtract x1, which is positive 3. So 6 minus 5 is going to be 1, and then negative 1 subtract 3 is going to be negative 4. So now I know that my slope is negative 1 quarter. You can then use either of the above points to find your um, equation in slope point form. I would use the 3 and the 5 because you've already called it x1 and y1. So when we plug this in, we're going to get y subtract 5 equals our slope of negative 1 quarter times x subtract 3 because x1 is 3. Again, pause the video if you need a minute to catch up. On our next example, we're going to write an equation in slope point form for this line. So first of all, I need to state the slope. And if I look from one point to the other, I'm going down one and over one, two, three. So my slope is negative one third. As for the point, you have two points given. You can pick either one. I'm going to pick this point right here just because it's in the positives. So that's over one and up one. So it's the point of one and one. So all we're going to do here then is plug this information into our equation. Go ahead and give this a try. You should get y subtract 1 equals negative 1 over 3 times x subtract 1. Now part b says change your slope point equation into slope intercept equation and find the y intercept. So if I start with the equation that I had before, we're going to start by changing it into slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Now you'll notice that y equals mx plus b has no brackets, so I'm going to need to get rid of the brackets, and the y is by itself. So I'm going to need the y by itself. Let's start though by getting rid of those brackets. So to get rid of the brackets, I'm going to multiply the negative one-third in. So negative one over three times x is going to be negative one over three x, and then negative one-third times negative one is going to be positive one-third, or plus one-third. So again, we have y subtract 1 still in the front. So the final step is we need that y by itself. So I'm going to add that 1 to the 1 third at the back. So we get y equals negative 1 third is still my slope, so negative 1 third x. And then 1 third plus 1 is like having 1 third plus 3 over 3, because 1 is really equal to 3 over 3. So that's 1 plus 3 is really 4 thirds. So again, 1 third plus 3 over 3 is 4 over 3. So here's my new equation. Now what is the y-intercept? Well, remember the y-intercept is in the very last spot there in the b position. So my y-intercept is 4 over 3. And if you look where it is on your graph, you should notice it's, again, about a third of the way between 1 and 2. So that should be correct. Pause the video here if you need some time to write that down. 
Now we're gonna move on to our final question and it's a you try. So you're gonna to try to do the exact same thing we just did, but on your own. Pause the video here and then I will show you the solution. So you could have got um, two different equations or you could have two, uh, y plus two equals three quarters and x plus one. It just depends on the point that you use. So if you use the point three and one, or if you use the point uh, negative one and negative two. Now I'll just show you one of the options here. When you change your slope point into slope intercept, again, you're gonna start by getting rid of the brackets. So distributing the three quarters in. So you should get three quarters x subtract nine over four because three times three is gonna be nine and the four times the one would be four. Then we're gonna add that one to the other side. So if you have minus nine over four and you add one, which is really four over four, you're gonna get five over four. So your equation is y equals three quarter x minus five over four. So then it says, what's the y intercept? Well, the y intercepts at negative five over four. We're going to finish off then with this assignment. Um, you'll have a little while to work on it. So good luck and ask some questions.